Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. I'm Prakash Narkade. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Lot of Vision Talks. So this video is in continuation with my yesterday's video where I spoke about uh, the, the overall summary of how can we automate uh, AWS S3 bucket operations with Tricent Test Oscar. Uh, operations like uploading file, deleting uh, file, downloading file, uh, and then listing the file, checking if file exists, and any number of operations you know that S3 bucket supports on uh, you know Amazon. So all, all those operations can be a part of this, but then you know I, I just tried to put uh, at, at a very high level what and all operations we would be needing as a part of uh, this particular special execution task. So uh, special execution task. Um, so so it is like the enhanced capability of. Tricentis Tosca. We are developing something on top of what Tricentis has already developed for us as a scriptless test automation tool. We say scriptless, but then in background they are developing a lot of code for us and they are they are giving us all these ready-made modules and we are just trying to learn here how these ready-made modules are developed. Again, developing their T-Box platform is something different, but we are developing something on top of the existing T-Box platform that they have developed. Okay, so at, at a very high level, SCT or special execution task is, is basically a mechanism in Tosca that allows you to execute your custom logic to extend Tosca's automation capabilities. By default, as of now, Tosca is not supporting you know these operations. Uh, as, as I said in the last video as well, in Tosca BI it does, but that is like something very different part of it, and you know, separate licensing is required. But then we are trying to develop something along with the Tosca standard, uh, you know, uh, Tosca standard license that it supports. Uh, okay, so as a part of this particular video, uh, um, we are going to talk about, you know, the, uh, basically this is going to be the part one of this, we are, you know, uh, development, uh, where we are going to develop the special execution task for AWS S3 bucket operations. Uh, what we are going to learn here is, uh, when I want to develop any special execution task or a city, the very first thing I, I need to understand my requirement, I need to analyze my requirement and I need to plan. Second thing is we are going to develop the custom models in Tosca. Uh, the third thing is we are going to setting up the project in Visual Studio. And then final, uh, you know, we, we are going to work on the development aspect of it. And then um, the, there, are, there are two ways how we can use the uh, special execution task that we will talk probably in the next session. For now, we are going to work on these three particular uh, steps. So, um, probably let me share my uh, you know notepad, and then we can talk about it. Okay. So, uh, okay. Let, let let us let us talk about the requirements. So so what I'm talking about here right now, uh, AWS S3 bucket. Okay, uh, so so the very first thing what we should be understanding is what is my current requirement. So the SCT what I'm demonstrating over here is I considered the general operations that AWS you know S3 supports and that generally we require as a part of our test automation in in general overall in the industry. But then uh, you know this is something uh, can be very specific to your project, very specific to your requirement. Okay, so so let's take an example where I have a scenario. Uh, you know uh, in my particular end to end test I have a scenario where I want to upload the file I'm sorry upload the file then after uploading the file uh, you know as soon as the file gets uploaded to s3 bucket some event event get triggered and you know uh, say on uh, AWS Lambda and then this event uh, you know uh, perform you know some operation okay uh, and then at the end you know it, it is something which I which I, which I let's say don't know but it's it's a part of the process but then you know to to uh, start this uh, test case or to automate this test case end to end i want something some way to upload my uh, file to s3 bucket as i said in my last video um, this can be also achieved with the help of aws uh, cli aws s3 cli okay but then that is like you know uh, something where you need a lot of commands you need to maintain those command and 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 if this uh, if this process is something which is like you know uh, most widely used in my project definitely i'll go ahead with SCTs. let's say this is one operation and second operation on deleting the file as well it triggered some event okay and let's say uh, after upload and delete it uh, you know uh, generate some report and you know that report is also gets generated into my um, s3 bucket okay so to, to validate those reports definitely i would be needing to download uh, you know the file from s3 bucket so let's say these are the three and then let's say um, once I upload my file 
uh, anyway the event will get triggered but then i want to make sure that if the file gets uploaded or not <coughs> if the file is really uploaded or not meaning i want to check if file exists meaning if the file is already uploaded or not okay so this is like one of the operation the other operation what i thought of uh, you know um, just an example okay it can be various examples depends on your project to project uh, uh, use case to use case but let's say uh, you know after performing some operation it generates some reports and i want to verify whether uh, you know uh, verify if the file is present or available or the f exist uh, sorry uh, no this should be um, get the list of files get the list of files okay so so the next next operation can be getting the list of the files that are available into particular folder particular locations within s3 bucket along with whatever details we we need whatever what, what and all attributes you know that particular file holds again we can write all the custom logics for that because anyway we are writing <coughs> all the custom code for this so this these and all are my requirements for which i'm gonna develop special execution task so now i have my requirement clears now the, the another aspect of it now um, in order to perform all these um, operations i know what and all operations i'm going to perform but then now to connect to the s3 bucket you know uh, there would be some url okay uh, and again this url is like very common if i'm talking about aws s3 bucket the url is common for everyone okay so that is something very common the next thing what i would be i should be knowing is or what i should be passing to my um, you know um, special execution task is s3 bucket name which bucket name uh, you know uh, will be dealing with now in order to access this bucket uh, okay or before that even i would be needing the region uh, you know which region this particular bucket belongs to uh, and then finally once i know bucket name region and url as i said is it is standard uh, i would be needing the access to the bucket to perform this operation so i would be needing access key and then secret access okay so uh, let me go to uh, the s3 bucket that i have okay this is the documentation of it which i'll come later for now let me pull this okay so i'm on uh, aws console okay where uh, i'm inside a service called as s3 if i go to home page i'll be able to find out uh, you know what and all services i have and recently visited i just you know visited s3 and iam or else if you want to search for any service you should be able to get it from here so i'll go to s3 and uh, you know for testing purpose i have created one bucket called as tosca test 123 here so what and, and this bucket is a part of this particular region eu north one region okay so um, inside this bucket as of now there is no file no folder so you can create any number of folders you can upload the files directly into this particular bucket and this is what we are going to do as a part of the special execution task talking about access part for access you know you need to uh, get the access and then secret uh, from this option security credentials where you able to uh, you'll be able to you know get your access key and secret access to connect to this s3 bucket okay uh, now i have my requirements clear now with this requirement let us go to tosca and you know start creating a module okay so 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 the way how we are going to work over here is um let me come here again okay so i have my requirement clear so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first uh, you know create a custom module custom module in tosca okay and then after this we'll uh, you know set up uh, set up not eclipse um, visual studio I'm, I'm gonna use visual studio for this visual studio project for obviously c sharp because this uh, special execution task or try and test task supports c sharp as a programming language and then we are gonna embed the code uh, 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 and basically we are gonna develop the solution and then finally uh, Finally, we are gonna embed, uh, you know, embed our, you know, deploy DLL file, which will, which we'll talk about in the next video. Okay, so this is like the overall steps that we are gonna follow. So let's talk about the first step where we are gonna create the custom module in Tricentis Tosca with all these specific requirement.
let me do so what i'm gonna do is i'll uh, you can go to any folder okay right now since this is like a new project for me i'm just gonna create it at the root level let me check out okay let me create say a folder called as uh, special execution task and within this folder i'm gonna create a special execution task with name let's say um aws s3 bucket operations okay so this is like the model i have created it's a custom model okay i have created it with right click now um on this particular model what we are gonna do is uh, we are gonna right click and you see we can add the attributes right so yesterday what i have shown you the model was having a lot of attributes you know to pass the configuration to pass the operations to pass the file that you want to upload file where you want to upload and output okay so what i'm gonna do is um let me create the attribute uh, the first attribute uh, is going to be let's say s3 bucket s3 bucket um, let me make it um configurations okay uh, now I, I have created a model i have created the attribute now within configurations we are going to create the sub configurations like your you know bucket name region access key secret access then we are going to you know have the operation and what, what are all different parameters that we need uh, and again I'll, I'll pause the video for that time and create it quickly but then for now right uh, we need to perform certain operations on uh, uh, not operations we need to set certain configuration parameters on your module level and your attribute level so let us let us start it with first module level okay so <coughs> If, if you go to any existing standard model you will see one of the attribute called as engine id okay uh -huh. and now like uh, the code that we are writing how tosca is gonna map with the dll file that we're gonna put or the file that we're gonna embed is with the help of engine id okay how we're gonna uh, use it in a code that i'll show you but then for now i'll create the first configuration parameter if you see the create configuration parameter cf as an engine okay and uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna give the name as let's say s3 operations okay so the first parameter engine uh, second parameter uh, i need to tell, tell tosca that okay this is the special execution task okay uh, so my second parameter should be special execution task name okay and um, this should be um, i mean we, we can give any meaningful name okay um, so i'm gonna give let's say s3 let's say bucket operations okay both have different purpose both have different meaning okay we'll talk about it later how it is gonna get referenced uh, yeah and then the, the third important point over here is what we would be needing is uh, so understand uh, you know so so what we're trying to do is we're trying to connect from tosca to s3 amazon s3 we cannot have the direct interaction so we need the you know some dependency uh, you know so like in java we use the jar file you know to use the or, or the sdk basically uh, you know to connect to the services and in um, c sharp we'll be using the dll files how are we gonna get that i'll tell you but then uh, you know we would be using one of the uh, configuration called as uh, reference libraries reference libraries <coughs> and then we are gonna put the reference libraries over here that we need as a part of um, aws sdk in short we are gonna get the aws sdk for s3 and then those dll files we are gonna include over here okay so so we'll put it once we download it for now uh, this, this and all things are required on module level three parameters engine reference libraries and special execution task name a reference library will be needed if you're you know using extra um, you know sdk which is not a part of standard uh, .NET framework if it is a part of .NET framework standard .NET framework probably you don't need reference libraries uh, the next one is whatever number of modules that we are going to create 
uh, we would be setting one configuration parameter uh, called as parameter okay and this should be a true okay so now uh, what's the meaning of this is uh, when, when we write a special execution task code uh, in in backend how uh, Tosca will understand that okay this is this particular uh, you know the value that you are passing to this particular uh, attribute is a parameter or that needs to be accessed that is with the help of this particular parameter uh, now if the question is uh, why we need all these things or why you know why we need this parameter over here so this is basically you know the framework or the setup that is done at the tpox level so we should be following the way how it is developed on top of that if i need some customization i need to follow their rules okay and all those rules are given as a part of uh, you know if you go to this tbox api documentation uh, so with version 2024.1 or version 2 uh, which 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 should be upcoming uh, you know we see this uh, the brand new ui with the good documentation okay so here it is telling you you know the steps to create and then some architecture and then you know um, some api documentation as well which we, which we'll go through in the next video but for now let us you know continue on this but this is the documentation that you can refer again it is not a very great documentation or very good documentation that everyone can understand it but then you need to explore and you need to learn out of it okay uh what i'm gonna do is let me create all the attributes and then uh, let me you know uh, explain let me pause for a minute okay so i have this uh, attribute setup ready so what i've done is uh, let me click here yeah so at a high level i have configurations the operations that i'm going to perform then the local file path uh, from which i'm going to upload the file or to which i want to download the file then s3 file path where i want to upload the file or from where i want to download the file and then the output variable where we are gonna you know store the result of certain operations which will be say if the file exists or not or listing the file you know uh, the, the the output of these two you know variables um, sorry operations should be set set up to this particular variable so we are going to use this more mostly for buffer anyway i mean it can be configured to use verification as well but for me i'm going to use it for buffering the results okay and if you see uh, under configurations uh, I'm, I'm creating sub attributes as in the bucket name region access key secret access and for all of those you see i have set up parameters equal to true uh, op under operation under value range i have given these values which are separated by semicolon so these values will appear into my test case okay uh, so under operation the drop down will appear and under drop down we'll be able to see these options and then these operations we are going to use it in our code okay so at a high level we are done with uh, our step step one which is your uh, uh, creating a custom module in Tosca second step quickly uh, i think the video is getting longer but then let us go ahead quickly i'm using visual studio for the c sharp code development okay let me you know develop a new project create new project okay so uh, now here you see multiple templates a uh, class libraries or you know the control libraries or you know the class libraries dot net framework and so on so uh, if you need uh, you know um, if you want to if you'll be able to run the test or uh, run run the test then you will be able to use console app so so for an example I, I write some code and I want to test it directly without you know embedding that with uh, uh, Tosca I'll be able to do that in console app but then say I have tested my code and then I want to create a DLL file out of it then I'll be using the class libraries that is this first one let's say so I'm gonna go ahead with the class library uh, you know dot net framework okay let me go to probably this one okay dot net framework um, I'll click next okay uh, so we'll be giving some project name over here let's say I'll just give the simple very simple name as s3 um, bucket operations project okay so this is the solution and then the dot net framework should be you know the 4.8 i suppose uh, with uh, the latest tricentis tosca versions and then we are going to click on create this is going to develop uh, uh, create basically a structure uh, for your dot uh, net framework that will be using dot net project that will be using so here it is 
so what it has done is uh, created a pro uh, created a project a solution basically we call it as a solution here a uh, created a solution under solution you see uh, a class file a dot class file extension basically c sharp uh, code will be writing the main code into this particular class but then you know uh, we need to work on certain references as i said in order to connect to s3 bucket you need to uh, uh, use some dependencies or the sdks how are we gonna get those sdks uh, so here you'll be going to tool uh, then you will go to um, this package manager and then um, package manager console okay maybe uh, I can get it with the help of UI itself package manager and then manage packages for the solution solutions and uh, here I should be able to browse and then uh, so what I need is I need AWS AWS um, SDK okay so so there are multiple AWS SDKs you know uh, that, that that are used for different different purposes if I want to you know work with my RDS databases I'm gonna use this particular SDK or whatever I mean for each and every you know um, service hopefully they have given different SDKs for me I need it for S3 I'm gonna click on S3 and then I I mean as you see I, I just see an install option because I already have it installed um, not the latest version I got the latest version right now but then I already have it installed okay I'm not gonna install it so let's say uh, you install it and then after you install uh, you know it will ask you ask you for certain permissions and all but then let's say you, you are able to install it now once you install it uh, you should be able to see those uh, the, the, the downloaded uh, you know um, or I can say dependencies into your packages folder okay so what you'll be doing is let me go to sec. my users users then my username and then I should be seeing a folder called as uh, this one you get and then packages and then here you see uh, you know two libraries got downloaded one is uh, the this particular DLL file I should be able to see it under lip okay this is the DLL file that I'll be using uh, for connecting to uh, S3 bucket okay so we should be including so let's say you have installed it and I found the path where those got installed what I'm gonna do is next I want to include those libraries as a part of my solution what I'm gonna do is um, right click on the references you will see uh, option called add reference and then you will be adding multiple references since I had already added it as a part of other project you see all these references I see okay let me explain you if you don't see it from where you will get it so uh, the, the references that I was showing uh, okay so if you see I'm getting it from uh, Tricentis folder. So what I have done is I have copied all these DLL files that I had got to my tbox folder tbox and then there I had uh, you know um, copied all those files. Okay, so my AWS S3 AWS SDK core and then along with that in the Tricentis uh, tbox folder if you see the path very carefully uh, C drive program files, Tricentis, Tosca, test suit, tbox. Within this folder, there are certain libraries that we'll be referring to. Okay. Now, where these libraries are referred, why they are required, we'll talk about that in the next video. But then you should be adding all these, you know, um, libraries for our uh, the special execution task development. If you don't see it here, you just need to click on browse, and then you know you'll be able to find it. So here, if you type something, you'll be able to see all this, you know. Uh, dependencies or libraries I should say okay so again this AWS SDK since I have already done that earlier uh, you know uh, did copy it to this tbox folder I'm pulling it from here otherwise you know you need to do that so I have selected all I'll click on okay yeah so now I have all the libraries that I need to reference okay one last thing uh, before we start writing our code 
okay under properties here under assembly info uh, assembly info cs file we need to uh, you know provide the engine id that we are going to use okay if you remember in in tosca on the model level we gave the engine called as s3 operations so now how will i understand that this particular uh, you know uh, special execution task will refer to which library or which code it is with the help of this assembly info okay what i'm gonna do is let me copy this line and put it on the next line okay and uh, you know this assembly uh, is engine id and i should be giving some uh, not some but then exactly same name what i have given over here which is s3 operations okay so it should be asking me for some import yeah okay so i was able to import it from the library that we have already you know added into the reference uh, okay so this is one thing so so two two settings we have done one is added the references second we have updated the assembly info in the next session we'll be writing the code the actual code into this particular class file which again we can rename but then that is okay for now okay so that's all as a part of this video so in this uh, particular video we have analyzed the requirement we finalized the requirements then we created the custom models in tosca we had done the setup of your c project in visual studio we are where we added the uh, assembly info with engine id then we added the references and now in the next session we'll start writing the code for uh, your actual special execution task okay so i hope uh, this video was informative um, it, it, it is a bit lengthy but then you know the things that we have to cover are multiple and then um, sh should be explained in detail um, thanks for watching the video uh, feel free to put your comments uh, if you have any suggestions or uh, you know anything else should be covered Thank you.